Pouring the old melted ice into the little receptacle on the ice machine, you prepare to catch a few new cubes. The dumb waiter on the far wall is used to deliver meals to the hotel's penthouse apartment. You press the green button on the dumbwaiter's control panel and see the doors slide open. Now, how are you going to fit inside that tiny chamber? This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words Penthouse. Two shoji screens are placed with great care so as to perfectly complement the other Japanese decor and to manipulate the ambient light in a paraphrastic bit of cogistry. It's a kotatsu, one of those low Japanese style dinner tables. Think of the thousands of vegetables that gave their all on this table. A salt water aquarium is built into the far wall. A very few extremely expensive fish swim lazily back and forth. How unusual! A natural gas fireplace burning with an intense blue flame at a tropical resort. The doors flung open while the air conditioner runs at full force. Obviously this woman has no financial problems either. Oh, have I died and gone to heaven? Who are you? And which department of the spa do you represent? I don't recognize your strange uniform. Are you with the kitchen help? When did they start dressing retro? And why? Are you sure you're supposed to be here? Oh, I don't... Uh, wait, wait uh, actually, that's right. I, I do work for the spa. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Laffer? I'm Shamara Payne. Please state your business here. Um, uh, well, um, I, I, I believe there was some, um, report downstairs, uh, about the dumbwaiter. Yep, <laughs> your dumbwaiter was written up. <laughs> Have you had trouble with your dumbwaiter? Dumbwaiter? No, not really. At least no more than usual. Oh. Are you just going to stand there doing nothing, Mr. Larry Laffer? Do you always sit here, Shamra, just staring out at the ocean? Yes. Once I led a frenetic life, double-clutching espressos at 6 a.m. power breakfasts, concording my way across the pond. Why, I once even owned an Apple Newton. Wow. But one day, I finally looked at myself in my apartment's mirrored ballroom and realized I may be fabulously wealthy, I may be at the top of my chosen profession. I may hang out with the Cognoscenti. Damn, I should have packed a thesaurus. But am I happy? Well, yes, I was. Quite. But more importantly, does my life have meaning? Why am I alive? What difference would it make if I just checked out? So, 
In what I felt was an extremely goganish move, I left my penthouse in the care of my servants and moved to this rather deserted island to live a spartan life of contemplation and thought, living off room service and new age music until I can fathom my meaningless life. Rich. Good. Thoughtful. Bad. Let me see if I understand this, Shamara. You're successful, wealthy, and happy, so you gave up everything to sit and think. Yes, Larry. I have everything. And yet, I have nothing. Uh, I don't know. You've got a great pair of tits. And what has your contemplation taught you, Shamra? Oh, nothing really. But lately I've been wondering about the lack of men in my life. What a coincidence. I'm horny too. I often think that myself. About men? Oh, your sexual orientation or deviation is unimportant to me. What I seek is the perfect man. Oh, that leaves me out. Not physically perfect, you understand, but rather spiritually perfect. Someone sensitive, intelligent, creative, wise. Hmm, I'm out of here. It sounds to me like you're just another self-made, wealthy, healthy, new age, 90s, fast-paced dropout looking for meaning in an otherwise meaningless existence. Why, yes, Larry. That's exactly it. You were paying attention. But can you help me? Can anyone lead me out of this funk? All right, this ultimate babe will be mine. If only I can find something around this dump to please her. You've always loved women in transparent clothing. If you play your cards right, Larry, all this and more might be yours. I want you to have this flower. An orchid. How beautiful. How high school promise. But you wouldn't just give me an orchid, would you? That would be too simple. Well, I... No, this is not merely an orchid. Let me think. It is natural and beautiful and unique and... Wait! I see! You're using this orchid to symbolize the perfection and purity of nature. How natural things are best. How the world can create millions of these flowers, no two alike, just like human beings. And thus, with a simple flower, you are encouraging me to recognize my own individuality, my own uniqueness, my oneness of nature, my own connection to the everlasting life force. Hell, I just thought it was kind of pretty. I knew you'd understand.